Hello. Sounds about to kick in, so I can't do my proper intro just yet. At this time, the humans were finally able to leave the core of the Earth, At what where time? they were hidden away for several centuries to survive the radiations left by the last atomic conflicts. At the heart of the jungle, with, they time. discovered the Buzooks, a race of mutants who were living peacefully at the foot of a hill. The humans took possession of these places by force and built a city on the hill called Vrgstnxl. But the problem is, indeed, it's lots at Vrgstnxl. What? Speak English. Anyway, hi, I'm Orwa Usopp, and somebody's stuffing a child in the garbage. Uh-oh, looks like he had reason to hide the kid. So, Professor Azimuth, do we play with dolls now? You shot a teddy bear, dude. Whoa, something's happening to the kid. Anyway, hi there, I'm Orwa Usopp, this is brought to you by Gamblin.com, and yikes. <laughs> Grow up so fast these days. The bizarre adventures of Woodroff and the Snibble of Azimuth. Yes, Snibble. 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 Alright. Yeah, some companies like to put their credits at the beginning because they know nobody watches them at the end. Yes, I'm kind of at a loss for games to play this morning because my internet's been down since about. 5 a.m. It's 8 a.m. now, and it's showing no signs of coming back on. So I'm kind of stuck with what I happen to what I happen to have on me. There we go. Jesus Christ, that took long enough. Whoa! Stars everywhere. What happened to me? You were just flashing, kid. Ouch! What's this word "snibble" that keeps popping up? All right. First of all, here's somebody. He's absolutely no help, but he's somebody. Yes, sir. That house behind us. Who does it belong to? It belongs to Professor Asimov. He's a respected man known for his scientific work on time. Something must have happened here tonight. And can you tell me who I am? I don't know you. I've never seen you around here before. Okay, so he was somewhat helpful. Let's go get the underwear button. Of his teddy bear. Yeah, part of the side effects of having a little kid turned into adult adventure is he's fixated on his teddy bear. Oh, and uh, because we were a little kid before we uh, advanced, we're not old enough to read. What a weird thing. I wonder what it's used for. Yeah, this game came from France, so it's you're going to see some... I don't want to say weirdness, but I will say you're going to see s some non-standard... You're going to see humor non-standard in American entertainment. Like, just the art style is like nothing you've ever seen before unless you've played goblins. Alright, there's apparently absolutely nothing at all useful in there. Won't even let me look around. Alright, let's check out Stairs Street, shall we? Look at him go. An ad for food. A burger? Must be a local delicacy. If he can't read, how does he... Oh, well. Here's a nice bazook kite that I'd love to put my hands on. Alright. What are you It's not safe to go that way. There are roadblocks and I don't have my ID. It's not safe to so go that way. Talk to there them. are roadblocks and I don't have my ID. Okay, good to know. Fine. Apparently the game is ordering me to go a certain direction and there's nothing I can do about it otherwise. Hey, trash heap. Anything in there? Oh. Hey, I've never seen you around here before. Have you paid all your taxes? Uh -huh. So taxmen just lurk? Shut up, cat, honestly. I love you, but you're being a pain in the butt right now.
I don't know if you people can hear, but I sure as heck can. This does not appear to be a pal. Is this a Paul? This is a Paul. Street of the Sad Bazook. 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 Unfortunately, I can't make out what's inscribed because I can't read. Here is one of the poor put upon bazooks. You don't get chat options in this game, you just talk to people till your talking options are exhausted. Buddy, why are you so sad? Huh? We bazooks are being oppressed and exploited in the city. Will you sure speak clearly? I'm new in this town. Uh, can you tell me how to find my way around here? Huh? Bad. Very bad. The food is atrocious, and the water is not even drinkable. And the, people the humans that questions. govern burden us with many taxes and obligations. How do you tax slaves if they're not? Oh, nobody complains. You don't fight back. Huh? Impossible. Our king has been completely incapacitated by the humans. He is waiting for the schnibble to come forth. He says he is our only hope. <laughs> The schnibble. The schnibble sounds mighty important. And what becomes of your wives and, and children? Uh? Those who do not abide are sent out to the jungle. Our women are depraved. Our young people are on drugs and jobless. So how does it make you any different from the humans? Uh, buddy, why are you oh, so we sad? Uh? We bazookas yes, yes. are being ah. oppressed and ex- That's a problem. You can never tell... You can never tell when someone's going to repeat themselves. This is an old game. Rather old indeed. Let's see what we got here. A wooden box. And what might be in the wooden box. Wait. A nut. I got a nut. And the only way you can activate your inventory screen... Well, let's try crossing the other side. Hint, it won't work. Hey, friend, isn't there too much water? Do you think I can cross? Absolutely. There's no danger. You can go ahead. Trust me. You know you're closer to the right side than you are to the left now. You snibble face! Can't trust you, can I? That's an acid river. That guy's a jerk. Right in the head. Screw you, pal. Boots made of croco moth hair. Okay. Well then, we appear to have hit a wall. A, a metaphorical wall, of course, not a literal wall. And yes, there's a lady there, but talking to her is utterly pointless until we have some other stuff. And uh, This game is long enough without wasting my time on that. Yes! Alright, I'm having to run off memory here. Why'd he take off his headband? Boot. Use boot on boot. There we go, there. That's what we do. I knew you threw it at it. Oh, 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 oh. It. And it was hard to see, too. A leather boot made of crocomoth hair. Man, that was quite an explosion if that boot got flung all the way over there. More likely that beggar stole it. Alright, now it has two sturdy boots, and in this boot is half a picture. Hmm. I wonder if this is relevant to anything. I'm going to assume it is. Is this one of the games where I can adjust the walking speed? No, it is not. Or is it? No. 
I cannot adjust the walk speed. Sorry, peoples. I think this woman is relevant to the picture. So far, this adventure is... Well, it is certainly bizarre, but... Hello, Element miss. Gone Do you live in this neighborhood? Unknown. Indeed. But I've never seen you there before. And the schnibble knows how good I am at remembering faces. I can remember every single face I have met, may it be only once. How very singular and somewhat useful. How about you identify this picture? It's a picture of Professor Azimuth. What a good-looking man! Maybe for this one. Here is the article that came with the picture. It's about his research. It Thanks, but I still can't read. Why can't Johnny read? Except my name isn't Johnny. What is my name? Well, I don't know my name yet, but I can spoil it for you and tell him tell you his name is Woodruff, because it's in the title. Alright. We got our acid boots. Apparently this hair is very sturdy stuff. What? Got our nut back. Why are you walking the other side to talk to him? Apparently you can't talk to him. Fine. Be that way. I didn't even want to. I want to go to Wino Alley. That sounds like a party town. Like me some Wino Alley. Hey, what do you know? A wino. This place is well named. Do you live in the area? Oh, oh, oh. Hello, gentlemen. You look so much alike. Are you uh, twins? Okay, drop it. I won't get anything out of him as long as he's plastered. Yeah, because stoned in other countries can mean other things other than influenced by the marijuana. Then I grabbed a handful of feathers. Those were the good old days. What, they can't even animate that? <coughs> a tar barrel. Alright. Apparently there's booze this way, which is kind of appropriate for Sign Alley. I mean, for Buono Alley. Woodruff, you are not going to enter this ignominious place, are you? <laughs> Behind these doors lies a garden of delights. Go on, Woodruff, that's good. Go on. <laughs> I can't remember if his conscience... <laughs> Apparently, Woodruff does not listen to his nicer conscience very much. Whoa! Bungee Waiter, the Elastic Barman. Is that a bottle of something? Nope. There's a poster. There's some taps we can't touch. There's a customer. Hey buddy, do you come here often? I say, what's the idea out of talking to me like that? We haven't been introduced yet. Well, I'm an adventure game hero. I talk to everybody. Hey, buddy, do you come here often? I say, what's the idea out of talking to me like that? We haven't been introduced yet. All right. Evidently, we don't know him yet, so he won't talk to us. How troublesome. Here's another notice we can't read. Too bad. I can't read. Bummer. But I do know you. You are little Woodruff, Azabeth's adopted son. Yay, we have our name. So then you know who I am? What? Well, who are you? I am your school teacher. Bye, you've grown so much. Yeah, well, some teacher. I can't even read. Okay, so it was like four when this happened, but still. <laughs> Won't let me? <laughs> nope. I know I need to at some point, but it won't let me yet, so... I don't remember a thing. You're saying that Azimuth is my adopted father? Yes, 
Something terrible must have happened because Azabeth disappeared. Yeah, we kind of saw what happened, lady. Now that I know he's my father, I'm going to look for him more actively. That's what he would have wanted. Here, he gave B this to keep for you. What? A big letter A. What is this? Sesame Thank you. Street? But tell me, who is J.F. Sebastian? That's the lightly bearded Ben over there. Why? Do you know him? Okay, I think she's Quick, about to repeat. Give me something so that I can teach you how to read before I leave. How convenient. I already tried that. But no. Why is the teacher working in the bar? Then she taught me how to read. Those were the good old times. The article was about Dr. Azimuth and the mysterious Schnibble, who nobody had ever seen. Interesting. Well, we can read now, and it looks like that's a good stopping point. I'll see you next time. Back in a bit.